for, for dinner. dinner. And uh, this is actually one of my favorite recipes. Parents used to do this all the time. My grandparents as well. Our home chef, Jen Fiore, gluten-free since 03, is joining us here in her kitchen. Uh, and uh, you've got a great, great little recipe here. I love this. Uh, what are we making? We're making salmon patties. That's what easy. I thought. Yes. Yeah. Yum. Yum and easy. <laughs> this is so easy such I could do this. A and you want to make double so you have leftovers for days. So in my recipe, this one happens to be in my cookbook. I have it. You can do it with fresh salmon or you can do it with frozen salmon. Okay. 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 So I like this meal because once you cook this salmon, I'm not going to be dealing with anything raw from this part. I'm just messy. Right. So I will bake my salmon and I'm going to season the top of my salmon with some garlic powder some brown sugar and some tamari or soy sauce. Okay. Okay. That's the, that's the pr part that would be glutinous if you will. Um, okay. So then we're going to sprinkle that on top and bake that for about 20 minutes. If it's frozen. Okay. 25 minutes. Right. Then we're going to take the skin off and we're going to take those little bones that you yes, see inside. Let's take we're the bones. Take those, yes. the, the pin bones, pin bones will not hurt you, but who wants one? So just remove them. Okay. Hopefully the, the fishmonger has done that for you, but not always. So anyway, in here, we are going to take that about two and a half to three pounds of salmon, and we're going to whittle that down, and that's what it's going to look like, all beautiful. And we're going to crumble that up. Now, it's all cooked and perfect, but we want to make it into a patty, and here's where the flavor town comes to mind here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dried parsley. Gotcha. One teaspoon of... Um, black pepper, one teaspoon of Himalayan salt or sea salt, and one teaspoon of garlic. Put All that right. in. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I add a little bit more garlic. Okay. Okay. Well, I won't talk if you won't. Okay. <laughs> we have here your celery, your carrots, and your onions, and we okay. have a ton of that. So four celery, two carrots, one large onion, and diced and, and sauteed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One cup, now that one is um, the gluten-free breadcrumbs, and I like to make it fine, so oh, okay, I blitz good. it. All right. Blitz it. And then one cup of mayo. Now, yes, people use an egg, but I just said I wanted to do it ra not raw, so I want it to right. be faster. So the mm -hmm. only cooking we had done was when the salmon patty. I make a little claw with my hands. This is how I do it in my kitchen. And I claw and start to squeeze it and compile it. Okay. Okay? Okay. And then... You can roll it again in breadcrumbs if you want. I don't necessarily, because here's the trick for getting it crunchy, guys, is we're gonna take some um, avocado oil or some olive oil, and we're gonna squirt it right on top. So we're gonna form this ball. Right. Nice ball like this, right? Let me brew this over so you can see what I'm doing. How's that? Okay. Let's form this together so you can see. Form that ball, put it down, press, Make it look pretty because you want to be like a restaurant. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. And then you're going to take your spray and you're going to spray the top. Oh, just like that. Just Maybe you want to drizzle a little, little bit more salt. If you want, you're going to throw it in a 400 degree oven for 15, 20 minutes. Not that long at all. And okay. not long at all. And you're going to get those beautiful oh, things. Oh, yes, please. So good. One of the many Perfect. times I wish you were in my kitchen right now. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is so easy, you guys. My kids made this recipe all through college. They just knew they didn't have to have raw all over their kitchen. They baked the salmon, seasoned it, came out and did the work. And then here we are. So easy. And now um, what do you have on the sides there? Oh, okay. So I, I like mine with lemon. If Fred was here, he'd use yum yum sauce. He slathers it with yum yum. <laughs> and I too. have another recipe from my cookbook, my kale salad, my loaded kale salad. Oh, mm. okay. That's delicious. And Jen, and, that, and then if you want to make this that is not gluten free, you can use the other ingredients on the side, right? That you have right. on the side. Right. So okay. This is easy. These are easy to flip. The only things in this recipe you have to watch out for with gluten free is your breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. So you'd use if you don't have a gluten free diet, use regular and the soy sauce. Okay. Because for people with celiac disease, soy has wheat in it. So we choose to have tamari and then some wonderful people created soy sauce without wheat. So thank you for them. Now, yes. and if anybody would like to check that recipe out, that actually is in the book that's uh, right behind you, right? 
Yes. <laughs> Yep, that's the book. <laughs> that's the book. Yes. And I do believe it's on page 130. Oh, well. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's read up on yeah. it. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. And, the, and this entire mill just happens to be gluten free. 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 Yes. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> Jen, where can people follow you to get more information for this and uh, so many other recipes? Okay, they can go to my website. Um, they can see all the recipes I share with you. They can get the book right there. Or they can go on Instagram on Gluten Free Since 03 and see some more fun stuff I do. Oh, delicious. Perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. You'll, you'll come hungry, you'll leave full. Absolutely. Yeah. Now right. you know what you're making for dinner tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. Jen, thanks yeah. so much. Good to see you again. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day.